Hey friends, welcome to my channel. So this is a very short video which actually helps you in uh, recovering some lost storage space. And I thought of making this video because I recently faced a problem wherein uh, in Google Backup and Sync uh, software which comes uh, which shows the icon here on your Windows uh, tray uh, notification tray. So here you have an option of preferences and what I generally do is uh, I sync a folder called Google Photos and I also enable it here I keep it checked but the problem which happened is I have around uh, 390 plus GBs of uh, photos and videos that is stored so I don't know what happened but somehow I instead of high quality I had clicked on original quality and as you know that if you click on original quality uh, then you don't get unlimited storage space on Google so this filled up my entire storage space and uh, it was actually showing red on Google Drive uh, so it is strange but Google actually allowed me to upload the entire 390 GB and then it shows that your quota is 15 GB but uh, you have uploaded 390 now I thought oh no I am in for a big trouble but after researching few things I found a solution for it so the best place to check your storage quota is to visit uh, the website over here one.google.com slash storage just uh, mind you uh, this is the latest uh, which has all the data uh, details about your uh, Google Cloud Storage what you see, see on storage uh, on uh, Google Drive uh, it doesn't get refreshed very quickly I've observed that and the same thing even appears at the Google Backup and Sync so what you need to do is now what it showed was my Google Drive was fine my Gmail was fine but on Google Photos it was actually showing something around 390 GB with a big red so to fix that what you need to do is just click on Google Photos and uh, you can click on settings so either you click on the star and go to settings or you just uh, go to photos.google.com slash settings once that's done change the video quality to uh, high quality free unlimited storage then you also have a section of unsupported videos which you could probably view and uh, select all of them and delete it these are the ones which probably good Google couldn't uh, compress in a high quality format then what you do is the most important thing is click on recover storage so currently I am well within the storage limits but uh, Google still says that I can recover probably 716.6 MB of storage by compressing photos and videos to from original to high quality so let me try out that I just click on compress okay so compressing your photos and videos may take over an hour and can't be ended so just click on compress okay that's fine and now you on Google Photos if you find that's uh, around 0.69 GB of space that is what is actually a, a, it should show you 0 GB if all the photos are compliant as per the Google's policy but since uh, some have been probably uploaded with a larger size it's showing like that so just keep refreshing and uh, you will slowly see that this uh, quota keeps reducing gradually so I'm not able to capture that at this moment but uh, this is a very handy tip for you to fix any storage issues with uh, Google and don't worry that if uh, your Google backup and sync uh, application still continues sh to show you sto um, uh, storage quota warning uh, even if this Google uh, one storage quota shows it right so it will probably take uh, some time 10 or 15 minutes for all the accounts to get synced and for me to compress 390 GB to 0 GB uh, it actually took over an hour I should say say 2 to 3 hours and then uh, it was fixed and once this entire uh, 
compression uh, process is complete uh, this uh, message of compressing photos and videos to high quality in Google Photos uh, will just disappear and you should be well within the uh, control limits hope uh, this tip is handy for you uh, if you have any further questions or queries please uh, write it down in the comment section thanks for watching this video